Hello viewers and welcome to episode 6 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nation. The January transfer window has finished, we've made 7 new signings, we played through a little bit further than we were planning to so we're just going to have the one game today. We've fallen out with the board and we've made up with the board. We've got a couple of new contracts as well so we've got a lot to get through. Roll the intro and let's get stuck into it. Since we last met viewers, we played seven games. So in yesterday's episode, we played Mansfield, where we lost 2-0, and had a three-all draw with Colchester, where we should have held on, really. We followed that up with a 2-2 draw away late in Orient. We then had a 3-0 loss away at Newport. The board then told us off and wanted gave us a month to improve things, and oh boy, did we improve things from there. We won the next three games against Barrow, Grimsby, and Mansfield, 1-0 with Nathaniel George, of all people, picking up the goal in each game. After that, we then had a 2 all draw at home with Bradford, where, again, we scored late. We were 2-1 down, so I'm quite happy that we've come back to draw 2 all. And then in the last game against Port Vale, just before the transfer window finished, we drew 0-0. Shall we go meet some new signings then, viewers? Here we are then, viewers. The first player in the building was Reese Brown. He's come on a free transfer. He... Can play on the both sides of the wings, which is why we brought him in. He's on £600 a week for the next 18 months, which is a little bit more than what I wanted to spend on him. He doesn't have... Well, when you look at him on paper, he's not the best player in the world. But so far, he's made one start for us, one appearance off the bench. Got a goal to his name, and he's averaging a 6.95. If you can keep that up, I'll be very pleased. He's still not playing at his full potential either, so hopefully he can grow into his South End squad and maybe make a name for himself. But welcome, Reese. Next up, welcome Jamie Burden, who's come in on loan from Tottenham Hotspur. We're paying him £750 a week. He can play in the defensive midfield role and the central midfield role. But when you look at him, he's an unbelievable player. Potent currently three and a half star, could potentially go up to a five star player. The only thing that lets him down really is his first touch, which is 10. But even still, that's quite good. Other than that, everything is averaging above the 12 and 13 level. So I'm excited to see what Bowden could do. He's already averaging a 7 after 5 starts. So he's had a really good start to his career here at South End. He's on loan with us until the end of the season. Next up, welcome another winger. That's right, we've got the Man U target, Maurizio Pochettino. Not that one, the, the other one. We've got his son. Maybe he wasn't a Man U target, but it, don't, it doesn't matter. He's not actually played a game for us yet because he's been away on international duty with the Argentinian under-21 team. So he's not back for today's game either, unfortunately. So we will see him in the next episode in action. He's got some great physicals here for the wing. Pace, 13. Stamina, 15. Acceleration, 12. I think he can really kick on. He's got off the ball, 11. Work rate, of 14. Crossing of 13. Passing could be a little bit better. But other than that, he's on £800 a week until the end of the season, so I am excited to see what impact Pochettino does have here at South End. After that, we've brought in Lamin Jagny, who's coming on a free transfer, £400 a week for the next 18 months, currently two-star, potential to go up to three-and-a-half star. His technicals in dribbling, finishing and first touch are a little bit poor, but everything else for his midfield role where he plays looks pretty good, passing 11, off the ball 11, he's got a good work rate, good pace and stamina about him. I'm excited to see how the 23-year-old Gambian gets on in this team. He's made two starts for us at the moment, averaging a 6.65. There is room for improvement there, but I'm sure he will fit in here at South End. Next up, welcome Alex Bruce. Yes, he's 36, but I wanted to bring in some experience into that back line where I felt as though sometimes we were lacking it a little bit of, of quality of experience anyway, especially for this level. But when you look at him, he's got some really, really good stats still at the age of 36. Heading 15, marking 14, tackling 13, positioning 14. He's, he's a brave player as well. He's an aggressive player. Good jumping reach and good strength. His pace does let him down with four, but that's about the only blip on him for me. Again, £475 a week for the next 18 months. He will become a key figure here, I think. And the experience that he will bring to these younger players and this squad in general will come through. Welcome, Alex. 
Next up, welcome Fabio Carvajalo. He's coming on loan from Fulham until the end of the season, £300 a week. Our final winger that we've added in this window. I just wanted to bring in that final winger to just give some more depth to the squad. He can play in on the right, on in the centre and up front as well. He's got decent crossing, decent dribbling, good pace about him and good acceleration. Currently a 4-star player, potentially going up to a 5-star player for this level. He's not made the instant impact we were hoping yet. But hopefully as the season progresses, he will be able to make that impact for us. Welcome, Fabio. Due to injuries to Kaziah Sterling, who is now out for the rest of the season with a damaged spine, who and we can't terminate his loan because we are outside the transfer window. We extended his loan and you can't terminate it within the first 28 days. We're now stuck with him on £500 a week until the end of the season. So we were forced into another loan signing and we brought in Dan N. Ledund Dan N. Lundulu. That's going to be a mouthful to say. He's come on loan from Southampton, £400 a week. He is going to be our main striker because, again, I felt we were lacking in that striking department now that Sterling is out injured. Good finishing from him. Composure could be a little bit better. But other than that, he's got decent pace, good stamina. He's a strong player as well. I'm excited to see what N. Luddy can do. N. Luddy? N. Lundulu. There we go. Can do here. He's not made an appearance for us yet as he signed on deadline day. This will be his first game for the club. Welcome, Dan. Outgoing wise, we've just had Alan McCormack, who's gone to Sligo Rovers on a free transfer. Contract wise as well, we've had Mark Oxy sign a new deal for three an extra three years. He's took a three hundred pound wage wage drop really, which has helped. The wage budget ever so slightly, we are still overspent on that, unfortunately. John White as well has signed a new two-year deal. He is 34, but again, he took about a £500 wage drop for us, which helped us massively financially. And I think White has been quite good for us this season. So he, I am looking for him to stay around and bring his experience to the squad. League-wise, going into this game, we are currently sitting in 18th position on 32 points. But a win today could see us jump right up to the table into potentially 13th. After our good form lately, I'm hoping that we'll be able to carry that on and at least get a point today. And finally, the finances. They're not looking brilliant. £597,000 in debt. We've had an expensive January add-in to the wage bill. Once the end of the season is here, a lot of players' contracts will expire, so it's a time to renegotiate those, get them off the wage bill if needed. So we are looking at bringing that figure up so it isn't as bad as what it looks at the moment. Let's get into this Walsall game. We also triggered Bowomo's contract for another year, so he will be here next season as well. The starting eleven today is Oxy and Goal, Ralph at left back, Lennon and White in the centre with Bowomo at right back, Dimitri in the defensive midfield, the midfield two of Olinaka and Burden, Nathaniel George on that left hand side, Carver Harlow on the right, and N Lundulu, we'll just call him Dan, is starting up top for us today in his debut. And here we are then, the kickoff is here, we are looking for a strong performance today, Bawoma with an early highlight, poor throwing which has cleared away by Walsall, three minutes in, can we win this ball back as Glennon comes forward for Walsall into Bates now, just playing around the centre circle, Danny Guthrie will bring a lot of experience to that Walsall midfield, headed away by Lennon to Nathaniel George, Ralph at left back looks to bring it forward and does into Olinaka, Nathaniel George back to Olinaka, Ralph, Burden, what can he do? Finds Demetriou. Nathaniel George, just a nice little bit of build-up play, this. Oli Naka, into Carvajal, Bowomo's there. Burden, oh, he's flashed across goal. The ball's just flashed wide. That was a lovely bit of build-up play there, though. And if that's what those loan signings can bring to the team, then we are going to be in for a good end, well, good second half of the season. Ralph Lennon now. Looks to bring it forward and does. Into Oli Naka again. Burden, Oli Naka. Olenica, I'm just going to call him Olenica. Nathaniel George unleashes and it's flown past the right-hand post this time. Promising first 20, 10 minutes though, with plenty of shots about for us as Walsall come forward now. From their throwing, they've got the ball into the box and it's defended well. It's bounced off the defender and it's ended up back at the Walsall feet, but they're having to play it back. We are putting them under a bit of pressure here. And Ralph heads it forward. Nathaniel George chases it. Picks it up on the byline. Can he bring it forward? He is doing it. Gets a ball in at the edge of the area. Dimitri unleashes. And Dimitri scored. The keeper has palmed it into the back of his net. And Jason Dimitri with his second goal of the game. Second goal of the season. Unleashes a wonder strike there at the edge of the area. The keeper should do a lot better. He's dropped an absolute howler. But 12 minutes in, we are 1-0 up. Good touch and a lovely finish there. The keeper is... 
I mean, I don't know what the keeper's thinking there. He's parried it into the back of his own net. Absolutely terrible from their goalkeeper, but we'll certainly take it. We'll drop some praise onto the boys. They've been performing really well lately, as you can see, with the three wins that we've picked up and the two draws in the last five games, which has been a total turnaround of form. This new formation has helped. I didn't really want to go to this formation because, I mean, we all know what it's like on Football Manager, but I think sometimes when the series could potentially be in jeopardy, we've got to go to the tried and trusted, and thankfully it has worked for us. Half time is here and no real highlights since the goal. Well, no highlights since the goal. And we are back underway with the second half. Whilst I've made a change at half time, we'll drop some. We'll encourage the boys and just see if we can maybe fire them up a little bit in the second half. It's not had the desired effect I was hoping for, but an hour in and there's no real highlight at the moment either. We'll drop some praise as well, and although the first highlight of the second half comes in the 69th minute. Nathaniel George picks it up on this left-hand side, finds Ralph, who on the, looks for the overlap but can't find it. Demetrio, the goal scorer, into Burden, finds a lovely throw ball to Nathaniel George, who's there, and it's 2-0. Lovely ball by Burden there, just to slip it through the defence, and Nathaniel George latches onto it and makes it 2-0 at that near post. Lovely first bit of play there. Look at this for a ball. Burden just turns on a sixpence and fires Nathaniel George, who nicks it in at that near post and makes it 2 0 to South End. 22 minutes to go. We'll make our first change of the game. We'll bring John White off and we'll put Alex Bruce on. Carvajal is having a quiet game, so we'll bring on Reese Brown and just leave it at those two subs for now. We'll probably make a sub with 10 5 minutes to go just to wind that clock down. Currently at the moment though, we are going up to 16th in the table. It's time for our last change, seven minutes to go. We'll bring and we'll bring Dan off and put good ship up top. And just see, just wind that clock down a little bit. It's been a bit of a quiet game from Lundulu today, which I was a little bit disappointed about, but I suppose if he's just joined, he won't really know the squad yet. But there we are, viewers, a 2-0 victory, nicely done, and the good form continues. Tell the boys that we are very pleased with that and they look inspired and motivated. And there it is then, confirmation that that result takes us up to 15th in the table. We are now 8 points off the playoffs. I mean, if this good form continues, why can't we aim for those playoffs? Or is that just a bit of a pipe dream? We'll leave it there for today, viewers. And what we'll do is, if you join me back at the end of March, we'll come back for the Scunthorpe and Harrogate games. If you have enjoyed that video, please don't forget to smash that like button for me, share the video around, subscribe to the channel for more, turn your little notification bell on so you know when a video drops. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitch as well at twitch.tv forward slash bellnation. Link is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.